Welcome back to Roy Knows Podcast, helping you become a better you. There's a lot of myths out there. There's a lot of myths about plastic surgery. And today we're going to talk about myths about rhinoplasty. And I've picked the top 10 that I hear about all the time, not only from my social media, but, from, but my staff get from patients. So I'm going to just share with you some of these, and I'm just going to go through them and tell you my thoughts as a rhinoplasty expert. Perhaps the most uh, one I hear a lot is that the patient comes in and said, well, my plastic surgeon told me that the rhinoplasty is simple. And usually they're coming to see me because they need a revision rhinoplasty. So first of all, nothing that we do in plastic surgery is simple. If it's simple, it's probably not the surgery, you know? And so it's really a lot more complicated. In fact, rhinoplasty is the most complicated procedure we do in all of elective cosmetic surgery. It's a surgery of millimeters and it's bone articulating with cartilage. It is not simple. It is not simple at all. And, and I'm just gonna go through that and tell you, of all the things we do, rhinoplasty is the hardest thing. You have to be systematic, you have to be analytical, you have to really have to analyze the patient's nose. And you really wanna be able to focus on what you can do, what you can't do, your top three goals. Those are the most important things. And if anything, it's very, very challenging to do. So I think rhinoplasty is, is phenomenal. And as an expert, you know, I practice till I can't get it wrong. Amateurs practice till they can get it right. There's a big difference there. So be the best you can be. The other things uh, say that, oh, and all rhinoplasties look unnatural. Well, that is totally untrue if it's been done correctly. In fact, the sign of any cosmetic surgery and rhinoplasty is that if it looks like nothing was done, that's a great rhinoplasty. So when you see a movie star or an influencer and they look awesome, and you know, I'll know that they probably had a rhinoplasty, but they look great. They don't look like their nose isn't over projected, their isn't over rotated, it isn't too pointy, it doesn't have too much of a slope, if it any at all. It just looks natural. And that's what you want, like this gentleman here. He looks natural. 13 years later, he looks great. It looks like him. It doesn't look like he had a rhinoplasty at all. He's got the normal perfections and imperfections of a rhinoplasty, and that's what you should do. So, and then the other myth that I hear all the time is that anybody can do a rhinoplasty, any plastic surgeon or any facial plastic surgeon. And the answer to that is not really, because rhinoplasty is very challenging. And I think being a board certified plastic surgeon or a board certified otolaryngologist or uh, a facial plastic surgeon gets you in the ballpark, but not every one of those folks necessarily can do a rhinoplasty, and they don't want to. And rhinoplasty, like I said, there's you know probably less than a handful of true experts in the United States, so it's really a complicated procedure because it requires the three E's: a lot of experience, expertise, and showing exceptional results. So you have to have, do it a lot, four, five, ten times a week and do it for a long time period and be able to show excellent results. And when you see somebody that's a true expert, they teach it, they lecture about it, they have written about it. And if they do those three things, you know they're an expert. Are they gonna be perfect? No. But they'll be able to deliver reproducible results like in this young woman that shows that you've done your homework, you, you can show great results, and they look good and natural on that patient. So, so again, do your homework. Find a board certified plastic surgeon or a laryngologist that does this a lot. Look at their website, look at their social media, and then go see them and see what they can do for you. And you can do, and, and, and you have to select them. The other myth, this is the fourth myth, is that is it, it's only for cosmetics only. And that is totally untrue. In fact, a rhinoplasty is so unique because it's both cosmetic and functional. You have to preserve the function and restore the aesthetics in every patient. Such as in this patient, she had both a functional problem uh, and a cosmetic problem. She had a big long nose and she had a significant airway problem. It was quite deviated. So in, in these types of patients, you want to be able to fix the nose, straighten it, reconstruct the dorsum and the tip, and you want to get them looking good and, and their nose functioning. 
And that's the sign of a true rhinoplasty surgeon because the nose is unique. You have to restore function and aesthetics. So it has to be both. If you just make the nose look good and destroy the, the function, that is a disaster. So again, choose your surgeon wisely. The other thing is that rhinoplasty is painful. Well, that's not true necessarily, especially in patients that don't have a lot of septal work done. Now, sometimes you're gonna have discomfort the first night, and I always tell patients if they've had a deviated septum or if they're a revision rhinoplasty, sometimes they'll have some discomfort, mainly from the splint we put in your nose, but most of the time, you really, really don't have a lot of discomfort, and we'd give you some medications if you need it, but most of the time, it's just discomfort from not being able to breathe completely because you've had a splint in your nose. So that's, that's a very important concept. So there's, and obviously, that's why I give my patients my cell number. If they have any questions, they can call me. The other thing that is always something that I hear is that, oh, you can get any nose you want, kind of dial a nose, like you see on Instagram where half of them are morphed. And the answer to that is, that's not true. That is totally not true. I mean, you have to get a nose that matches your face. So that's why I do computer imaging. And I look at patients and I give them an image, I under promise and over deliver. And images are just that, you know, none of us are God. We can't guarantee a result, but it gives you an idea of what's possible. Like in this image, preoperatively. And this is her image of what uh, I thought we could deliver. But postoperatively, she looks so much better than that. And you want to under promise and over deliver. So in these patients, you want to be able to say, wow, this is a pre-op view, this is the imaging of what I can potentially deliver, and here's what, I, what you did do, and it looks so much better. So you can't deliver it exactly, but hopefully you can see she looks better than the computer image. So again, know before you go, you can say, you can get a natural looking nose, a nose that looks great and beautiful, and that's really what you wanna see in these patients. So, and then can you accurately predict the results? And some people say you can. And I will tell you that the more of an expert you are, the yes, you can predict them, but it's not 100%. You cannot guarantee what I show you in a computer image. You can't do that. That's just being disingenuous. But you should be able to say to them, I'm gonna be able to give you form and function and give you an improved result. Like you see in this patient, a complex revision rhinoplasty, where we straighten the nose, reshaped it, restored it, and, and give her a nice look and appearance. But you can't ever guarantee that you're gonna give them a, a great or perfect result. You can't do that. That's just not possible. That's also a red flag if a surgeon says, I'm gonna guarantee you something. So, and then the other thing is, and, and social media has really hurt us here as they say, oh, I'll see the final results in a few months. No, you won't. You won't see the final results in a rhinoplasty for a year or two. And in a primary, it takes 12 or 15 months or longer. And in a secondary, it can take years. The more you've had rhinoplasty, the more longer it's going to take to have a, see the final result. If you've had two previous rhinoplasty, it's going to take two years to see the final result or longer. So know before you go on that, okay, you can't predict that. And so much of the swelling may be gone in the first week, uh, or excuse me, it may be gone in the first six months, but so much more of it is gonna change in shape, especially the tip in the next six to 12 months. So here's a lady that's over a year out and she's still improving. She still looks good, but she's gonna look so much better. In fact, I saw her recently and she looks incredible. Another patient over a year out, but she's still gonna improve. She's still gonna look better in another year or two. So that is the beauty of rhinoplasty and also the downside. That's why you have to follow your patients because they'll change and improve. And sometimes you'll see some abnormalities as they go along. That's just part of it. And then rhinoplasty is only for wealthy people and for women. And I hear that not infrequently. And of course, that's totally untrue. Wealthy, I mean, rhinoplasty is for people who want to make a change in, in how they look and also how, and how well they can breathe. Many patients come in with both those issues. And so it's really for everyone. It's for everyone if they want to have a, a better looking nose like this young lady that has a breathing issue, so be it. You know, she wanted her nose turned down a little bit. It was overly projected and we wanted to make it and match her beautiful face. Of course you can do that. And you know, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. 
And, uh, and I think that's the most beautiful thing about that. And then, you know, the last thing is, is it um, a nose is covered by your insurance? Well, a nose job, um, today, most of the time, it's not. And uh, I think that prior to maybe 10 years ago, some of it, if it was a functional part, was covered. But I personally don't take insurance. Uh, I think that I see patients that, quote unquote, have had a rhinoplasty done under insurance, which basically, you know, in the United States, you only can get the functional part of a nose done, uh, which means a septal surgery with insurance, and you can't have the cosmetic portion done. And sometimes there are practitioners that will, you know, charge for both, but that's really not the right thing to do. So I don't take insurance, and, and I think most of the time, really, Great plastic surgeons that uh, that do rhinoplasty don't take insurance because it's first of all it's so complicated and and really it's better to do both the cosmetic and the reconstructive together. And I never do a cosmetic rhinoplasty without doing a functional one. You just shouldn't do that. If you can't restore or improve or maintain function, you shouldn't be doing rhinoplasty. So that's again another myth. So I think that's a rapid fire way to look at really what is the mythology of rhinoplasty. And so much of the myths about rhinoplasty really can be resolved if you just find the right board certified plastic surgeon that's a true rhinoplasty expert. He or she will guide you toward the right thing to do, the things to not do, and to guide you to get the best result for you. So helping you become a better you, better you is always important in my life. And please give me your thoughts and comments. And until next time, be safe.